Hey guys, Ken Opener Dude here on the PBE. Today we're going to be talking about the Hextech crafting system that's been introduced. So it's um it's a pretty interesting system. It's got a little bit of a nuance to it, so we're just going to do a brief overview of how it works and how that's going to um, augment the systems already in place. So basically what happens is that when you're uh, in game and you do like S rankings, so when you do like really good in game, you can uh, get a chance at getting these chests, these keys, or these key fragments. So the key fragments will, and the, yeah, the key fragments will drop randomly after games. The uh, chests will drop if you get um, an S, an S minus or an S plus with a champion, or if anyone on your team gets an S, an S minus, or an S plus on a champion. But only one box can drop from one champion a season. So basically what that means is that every season you have a chance of getting a hundred and twenty? There's a hundred and twenty champions now? hundred and thirty, somewhere in there? Anyway, you have a chance of getting a hundred odd boxes from the from getting mastery scores because each champion can only give one per season. But uh, you can only get up to four per month. So the most you can actually get is four times 12 is a number. So <laughs> you can figure that out in your head, but basically it comes down to that. Um, you can also buy them in the store, obviously, but it comes down to that if you're just playing without spending any real money, you can get these things. Um, you can get these things basically about at max for a month. And the key fragments can be combined to forge into keys. You need two key fragments to make a key. The keys can also be purchased in the store for real money. The chests um, you can get for real money in the store as well, or you can get them for um, getting the high masteries. And what they do is here, I'll show you. You can click on the chest, or you can click on the key and then the chest, and you open it. This little thing there. And it gets you uh, what's called a skin shard. Add that to our loot. See, now I have a skin shard. And this one's a skin permanent that I looked at later. So what uh, skin shards do is we can re-roll that into a random skin permanent. If we, if we have three skin shards, we can re-roll them into one skin permanent. That's what I did to get this one. We could also upgrade it to a skin permanent by purchasing with a with cosmetic essences so see I've got 332 you do that by disenchanting which we'll get to in a second but if I had 675 I could upgrade this to a permanent skin and then I would be able to unlock it permanently I could also de disenchant it for 322 cosmetic essences which would add to this total down here or I could activate it as a rental which means I'd only get the skin for seven days but I'd be able to do it off of that one uh, skin shard so what I did is I re-rolled uh, three skin shards into a skin permanent, which is this one here. I can re-roll it into a permanent. I can disenchant it for some cosmetic essences, or I can unlock it. So let's go ahead and unlock it. And now I have High Noon Twisted Fate unlocked. So let's open a few more. Now this is a champion shard. You can also get those. And what this means is that I've already owned Misfortune, so I can't activate it as a rental or upgrade it. What I can do is I can re-roll it, or I can disenchant it to get champion essences, which fo which function the same way, but with champions instead of skins. So let's open some more. Lumberjack sign, another skin shark. Bear Cowboy says one skin shard. So now I've got three of these skin shards and say, you know, I don't really want any of those. I don't want to disenchant them though, but since so since I have three, I'll reroll them. I'll have that one, and that one, and that one. And this will give me a skin permanent. Bittersweet Lulu. Can't believe it. So now that's the permanent one and I don't actually have the champion so I could disenchant that or re-roll it again so let's open the rest of these let's 
Riven, another champion card. Gragas, another champion card. Cryocore Brand. And Corky, another champion shark. So, let's say uh, I don't want Riven, and I don't want Misfortune, and I certainly don't want Corky. So let's reroll these. And that gives me Hecarim. So now I have Hecarim. And he's been added to my inventory. So now I have, I have a permanent Hecarim. And this guy, I don't, I don't really want Cryo Corbran. So I'm going to disenchant that. And now it's been disenchanted into more essences. And then I can... Um, I would need Champion Essence to buy that. Or I can reroll it, but I would need three again for that. So what I can do is I can just... Sit that there until I get some more stuff. And this stuff, I don't own Lulu, so I can just disenchant this. So now I've got a bunch of cosmetic essences. So let's go buy another uh, chest, and bu uh, chest bundle. And let's unlock this see if I can get Oh, just, just some essences. And a summoner icon. So see, that's another thing. You can get summoner icons, and when you unlock a summoner icon in this way, you'll always get some essences with it. So, let's look at the store here. Buy another one of them. Lux, another champion shard. So see, now I got two champion shards, and I don't really want either of these, so it's kind of, um, kind of sucks to be me. Uh, yeah. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much the system. I just want to show off real quick how you can use the essences to unlock things, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you servers? See, now I've got enough to upgrade him. So what I can do, I can upgrade. And now I have Gragas. So that's how the system works. That There's not a whole lot of minutiae to it. There's... You can get, basically, as far as I've seen, any skin that's not specifically Legacy, so Rusty, Blitzcrank, UFO, Corky, anything like that, you can't get. But any other skin, even skins that are no longer available on the store, so um, seasonal skins like the some of the Christmas skins, some of the Halloween skins, you can get those. And, of course, you can get every champion, too. So that's basically how it works. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. See ya.